Okay, hello and welcome to Texas. So today we'll, I'll be showing you how to install Ubuntu Studio 16.04. So right off the bat, we're clicking English and we'll go install Ubuntu Studio. That was pretty quick, I didn't actually expect that. Now, a little background info about Ubuntu Studio is Ubuntu Studio is sort of the multimedia, see, Linux for Creative Humans um, version and it's more friendly UI for people trying to get into Linux or just want a simpler Linux interface because some can be horrible. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to be showing you how to install it today and possibly a quick just look over. So now we're just loading up the installer on the um, UI. Okay, so comes right to the installer here, English, so we'll click continue. Um, this is pretty standard Linux stuff, so if you've watched how to install any other Linux, so it's pretty much the same. So you get um, download updates while installing, install 30 part, third party graphics, blah, blah, blah. We won't select them, we just want to install quick. Now here, where it actually gets a bit different, you can actually go through and unselect um, certain apps that you don't want. It's um, it's actually pretty cool. So we just leave it um, all there for the moment, and we'll click continue. Erase disk and install Ubuntu Studio. Um, if you you can dual boot it if you want, you can make something else, whatever. Um, yep, click continue. So now, it's, okay, so we've got the time zone, uh, Sydney time zone, click continue. Now it's put the resolution really small, so we have to go continue over here. So now we just put in a bit of um, information. That shouldn't exist. There we go, I'll do it. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah, the install is pretty much logging automatically when you boot up the computer, not to say the same, but it's easy. Um, and now we get to a screen where it just shows you over a few things like, um, yeah, it's, it, um, it's more friendly, so you can, and usually Linux is actually better for, um, for some multimedia things. Um, however, you do get a bit of not stand up, so you won't see like a Adobe Premiere here. Um, won't see just a few sort of standard apps that a lot of people might have, but you'll have alternatives which um, can sometimes be even more powerful than the standard Windows version. Um, and you've got a lot of include photo, um, I should say applications. So, yeah, that this is the main selling point is being um, all the multimedia stuff. Like, you could just use Ubuntu Studio for a home um, home entertainment center if you wanted, or whatever. Not even for multimedia if you want. Um, so I can't see. Um, the installer at all. So we will do a time lapse. Boom.
Okay, so the installation has completed. So now we'll just restart. So if you are installing this off a USB stick, remove the USB stick and press enter. And hopefully we can actually get a 1080p resolution. So this might help. That doesn't look the best stretched out actually. Let's put that back. Yeah. So, as we can see here, I don't know whether it's. I don't think there is. Hold on. Yeah, I don't think there is any dock. I think it's. Actually, there should be. Let's just. Um, change the desktop settings and try and get the resolution up. Oh no, never mind. It's looking in the wrong place. It's up here at the top. And that's where you can get to your settings. Which now we will go to... Okay, so we're back. Now, because I'm doing this in a virtual machine, that's why this was happening, because it was going outside and doing all that. So, for you, if you're installing it directly onto a machine, it shouldn't happen whatsoever. So, I'll just give a quick um, overview. So, up the top, it's sort of... Um, it's like um, Ubuntu. Um, when you go into sort of the start menu as such, that's when it starts um, coming its own. Um, we have video production, a whole folder dedicated for video production, whole folder gra um, dedicated for graphic design, etc. It's really focused at getting what you need. Um, you've got an office folder, you've got media playback, internet, um, oh, transmission already installed, great. Games, education, it's. Now, for someone that actually knows something about Linux, because most of the time that's when, if people are installing Linux, they have somewhat know of computers. Um, so, yeah, um, when you go into system here, it's a bit, you get some commonly used settings, but for me, to, um, I didn't actually see these down bottom. And you can expand your uh, menu, so you can drag it right up there if you want. Um, you can you can actually really customize it. Um, you click down here, and this is when you get all to into your settings. So I'm going to play around with this for a little bit, and um, might create another video on my thoughts because this looks to be a really nice um, Linux. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.